Have you ever been really annoyed when Windows 10 does a major update and your file associations, which tell Windows what program to run when you click a certain file, these file associations are reset back to the defaults where Microsoft wants you to use their programs instead of anything better. In fact, you may have noticed that some programs can't even take over the file association. For example, I've got paint.net on this system but no matter what I do, when I right-click a file and go to Edit, Paint opens up. That's Microsoft Paint, not Paint.net. Yes, I'm aware that you can right-click, and we can go down to Open With, and then select Paint.net, but that's a hassle. If you select Choose Another App, and then select Paint.net, checking the box to always open this, it's not going to persist after a Windows update. Additionally, that takes over the other preferred default that I have, which is the preview to open in Windows Photo Viewer. If you've been annoyed by these things, you might want to look at Program Switcher. Let me run you through a setup with Program Switcher right quick. It is a program that needs installing, so it is not a portable app, like a lot of our software. We'll do a create a desktop icon. And we'll start Program Switcher. From here you'll see that we have several boxes. The first is Original Program, EXE Name. That's the name of the file itself, the program itself. Then we have a switch with Program, and that expects a full path and executable name. Basically what we're going to do here is we're going to take the executable name for Paint, which I happen to know as mspaint.exe, and we're going to switch that with Paint.net. Just do a browse. Happen to know you need to know where paint.net's installed. I'm going to program files, paint.net. There's the name of the paint.net executable, so I just open that. And see that puts that here in this box. Now I'll just click the switch programs button. And now, through some sheer force of magic, when I right click this program and go to edit, Paint.net opens up. One more I like to do is Notepad. And since I actually have Notepad++ already running, which I would like to switch Notepad for, I can actually select that from the drop-down list because the program is already running. That way it'll save you through going through the browse procedure. And just click Switch Programs. Now anytime that you want to run Notepad.exe, Notepad++ will run instead. These changes will persist after major Windows upgrades. You won't have to change a thing, and your favorite programs will still be running. Here's one more tip. It works with web browsers, too. I hope this helps you, because it's helped me. I am very annoyed when Microsoft resets my default associations, or they don't let me take over any to begin with. That's why we've created Program Switcher. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.